everyone and welcome to the link. Now as I say I'm giving you a flip through of Ginny Through Time. This is my new history history unit study that we are using this year in fourth grade. Okay, so we'll just go through, um, I'll go through a little bit on the computer with you and then I'll show you um, some in the flesh that I've printed off. Um, but this is your little lesson notes. So we've got Ginny Through Time notes. Um, in the lesson guides have been made to allow the optimal freedom with choosing activities for each period of history. The corresponding journals can be used to document their experience and knowledge gained and the format is based on a menu of books, YouTube videos, websites and activities. So there are lots of books that I've listed for each of the different periods of time, however there are a few that are regularly appear and I've listed them. They're all hyperlinked for you. Whereas with Dining on Science, the links took you to Amazon.com. With Journey Through Time, the links take you to Amazon UK. I just wanted to be, be fair um, to everybody. But it's really simple. All you need to do is, if you're not in the UK or um, you're somewhere else, is just copy the title of the book and then put it into your Amazon, wherever you're located. Okay, moving down. So where the above texts are used, I've also given you the page numbers, but obviously, as with any title, just check your glossary if you've got a different version. So a selection of YouTube videos that go along well with the topic are hyperlinked, for ease of access, which you'll see in a second. You don't need to watch all of them, but just pick which ones you think would support your child's learning needs more or that they're interested in. And I've also listed websites. Again, we, we personally will be watching most of them and looking at all the websites, but you know, each to their own. They're there for you. You pick which ones you think are necessary. Um, I've also listed activities for each period of time, which you'll see in a second. There's lots of things in there, different uh, recipes and art and writing and all kinds of stuff, but we'll get to that bit in a minute. And then each period of history has a notebook to go along with it. And then I've listed some of the templates that feature throughout. There are most of the, the I guess you could say, templates are similar in terms of um, questions posed, but there are additional activities in each book that are unique to that particular uh, period of history, which you'll see as we go through. Um, I have used the Explore books um, to come up with the um, printable templates for the notebooking. However, the questions are very generic, so you could choose a different title. I just really like the Explore books. Um, I'll show you those in a second. But I really like the Explore books for the notebooking because it's to the point, but there's lots of information in there, pictures, graphics, and everything else. But if you've got a different history book that you prefer, use that. It'll be absolutely fine. And I've also included blank templates as well. So where I have posed questions which you'll see in a second on the notebooking pages there are blank ones in there so if your student is really interested in something else and wants to notebook that they've got their blank template to do that instead okay then there are also newspaper templates in the back too so you can do some newspaper articles and then i put here this is my goal is to empower the student to choose elements that stand out for them for notebooking purposes while the principles are pre-filled with prompts and questions to answer, the blank ones can be utilised as an alternative if you'd like to focus on something else. I think that's really important, especially with notebooking, because you might find that something else sparks an interest, so I'd much rather they notebook on that instead. So in terms of planning, I'm leaving it up to you to decide how long you want to spend on each topic. I haven't put a specific schedule in there, but for me personally, I'm splitting the nine units over 36 weeks. I'm going to do seven of the units over a four-week span, one of them over a six-week span, and one over a two-week span. However, it's up to you. If you your child is really into the World War One, stay in there for as long as you want to. You know, this is I've tried to make it as flexible as possible so that you know your child can really lead the way. Um, because you know, if some, there's something really sparks their interest, I'd much rather they spend as much time as they like on that rather than rushing, thinking you've got to check boxes and everything else. Um, so that's how we're going to do it anyway. I've also put two covers in. So this is my teacher guide cover here. And then if you want to put a cover on the, your student's one, you can do as a main cover. Each little unit um, activity book has their own cover. But if you want to put you know, this on the front, you can do. I've also included a planning page. So you've got books, YouTube, websites and activities listed. You can put your, what week you're on at the top. Okay, so straight into... The first unit, which is the Stone, Bronze and Iron Age, so this is how it works. You've got your book list here, they're all hyperlinked with page numbers. Then we've got YouTube videos, so I'll just click on one and you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I clicked on the top one, which was how tools were made, and this is taking us to the Museum of London's page, uh, Prehistory, Stone Age, um, and that's what the video is for that one. So it's really simple, you just click on them and it'll take you wherever you need to go. Um, then we've got websites. 
activity. So these are all different activities. So I'll just cl again click on one for you. Okay, so this one is taking you to the English Heritage page. So there's lots of different activities on here um, that you can actually do. So this one was for designing your own shield, um, but there's lots of different ones that you can do. Um, so if you click onto the prehistory, it will say here, so there's an interview with a Bronze Age settler, you can call your own prehistoric settlement poster, make your own model roundhouse, design an Iron Age shield, and then test your knowledge with a mammoth prehistory quest quiz. Um, so this is uh, the magazine, so Kids Rule Online, if you click on this, that will download this little prehistoric life magazine for them, which you can then either read online or print, it's up to you. Then there's this call your own prehistoric scene, and then you can build a little timeline, because, um, and these are just so, so fun. Okay, so that's that one. So we clicked on the design and Iron Age shields, so that's why we came, we came to there, but there's also the download the copy of the prehistory magazine, so I just click on this one, and download your magazine right there. The links are great, I love them. Anyway, back to the notebook activity, so they're all listed here what's in this particular notebook. So what was the Stone Age, what do you know about the Bronze Age, what was life like in the Iron Age, my prehistoric comic, food and farming, my hunting mission story, homes and buildings, discovery and inventions, tool technology, my cave painting, my kelp design, and make your own calendar a year at Stonehenge. And then in the blank templates, which I'll show you at the end of the video, we've got a roller story, animal fact file, letter writing timeline, letter writing template timeline, so the timeline is great, you can print off as many copies as you want for that one, it's a blank timeline template. Two newspaper writing templates, my recipe, facts and figures, and a research historical figure page. So these are all blank, so you can decide, okay, well I want to do for this one, I want to do the one of the newspaper writing templates, so you can stick that into your notebook. You might decide you want to do an animal fat file, so for example, woolly mammoth, so you can put that into your notebooking activities. So they're blank because it gives you the freedom to decide which ones you want to add in. And also, if you don't like these questions that I've posed, there are blank copies of these same principles that you can ask a different question on for research. Okay, so this is a Stone, Bronze and Iron Age notebook. Um, so here's what it looks like in terms of the printables. So we've got all the blank templates and we've got our cave painting art piece and then they get to do their own and then my kelp design so they can draw jewelry or weapon or whatever they like make your own calendar a year at Stonehenge so they can get to create their own little calendar um it, it'd be interesting to see what they come up with for this but i'm really interested to see what my daughter comes up with you know instead of january february you know a different version of it okay next we're on to egypt so we've got our egypt notebook um a book list rather so as you can see explore is the top so i'm just going to click on this one so this is what Explore looks like in terms of the Ancient Egyptians one. Okay, so we've got all our books listed, we've got our YouTube videos, we've got websites, we've got our activities, and then we've got our notebooking pages with our blank templates as well. So here's the Ancient Egyptian notebook. Now for this one you've got, um, it doesn't look like that when it's printed out, it's just the way it's showing on the PDF. You've got cursive copy work. And then you've also got um, this version too. So they can trace it, they can trace the copy work, um, or they can draw, um, not draw, copy it onto this blank piece. So if they don't want to trace, I've given tracing as an option because sometimes kids um, prefer to do tracing as opposed to writing out copy work all the time. So that's why you've got a couple of options. So you can do a cursive, trace, you can trace this one, or you can write it out onto this page. Um, and then they can draw a picture as well if they'd like to. We've got everyday life in Egypt, a day in a temple school, Egyptian feast, pyramids and temples, making a mummy, Egyptian hieroglyphs, so they can do their own, um, my Egyptian story, my Egyptian art, and then want to Greece. So I'm just going to stop talking and just scroll through on this. Um, you know, if there's anything I need to say, my ancient Greece journal. We've got our copy work again. Write your own Greek play, Olympic Games, Parthenon, some Greek art, design a Greek temple, a little research page on Alexander the Great, but I've left the blank one in the back in case you want to do it on somebody else. Design your own Greek coin, Greek vase, go into the Romans. And there's my front cover the Romans one. So these questions are all answered in the Explore books, but as I said, you could use, they're very generic, I mean, 
artists and writers, you can look in any Roman book, but they are actually in the Explore book, so if you do want to use those, you can do, but as I said, you can find any book to go along with it. So we've got a, some art there, design a Roman villa. Uh, this one is on Julius Caesar, to write their Roman tale story. Then we're on to Saxons and Vikings. I did put these together, and as you can guess, this is my six-week block for Saxons and Vikings. It just made sense to put them together. So here's the journal page for this one, Anglo-Saxon and Vikings. So we do the Saxon questions first, or obviously it's printable, so you can change it, do the Viking questions first. Some copy work. This one is left blank, so you can decide who you want to do. Uh, this is the STEM activity in my angle of Saxon rune design. I've got a colouring page there. Now I'm on to the Vikings. I'm super excited about the Vikings. I love Vikings. Viking beliefs. And for their STEM, they get to design a Viking ship. We've got our colouring page. Some colouring pages for the Vikings. They're onto the Tudors. Design a Tudor town is their STEM activity. My Night Tale, Tudor Feast, Henry VIII, Queen Elizabeth, medieval life picture. On to Shakespeare, he's my shorter one, he's the two week one for us. And then on to the Victorians. I'm really excited about the Victorians as well. And we do go into Darwin with the Victorians too. And I've put a little couple of surprises in with the Victorians. Um, so here's our Victorian journal. I had to take advantage of this opportunity. Okay, so ta -da! I had to get Alice in there <laughs> because there was a question of writers, artists and photographers from Victorian times. So I had to include Lewis. We had to. So we've got some Alice pictures in there. Um, and I also put in, you can write your own Wonderland story, and then I also put in a couple of my little car um, cartoon comic pages from my Alice in Wonderland unit for them to do too, because I had to, it's Alice, it must be in there, <laughs> um, Victorian house, then we've got Swiss STEM designer watch, again it doesn't have to be a Victorian watch, they can make it as futuristic as they want, it's just an option, um, then we're on to World War One. My day as a soldier, letter writing, some Morse code, copy work, women at war, my war horse story, after the war, nurses at war, a research page, a wartime poster, and their activities to draw their own wartime poster, and then World War Two, um, and there's their journal page. My World War II ration book, so they can make their own little ration book. They can, their STEM is to design a shelter. Um, my letter from wartime London. Science in war. Enigma, so there's some Enigma copy work. And then they get to write their coded message. And then for this one also, there's an extra one. Soldiers parachuting into battle picture. And then they can uh, STEM to do their own parachute. And then my dig for victory garden plan. And then here are your blank templates, which I'll show you in a second in the flesh. So they're all there for you. So this one you could use for every recipe, but, or some recipes, you know, that's there as an option for you. Facts and figures, we'll probably use these quite often, but I just put it in the back, um, just in case you only want to do it for select ones. Here's your timeline, we'll definitely be using these for a lot of them. I'll, you can just print off as many copies um, as you need for your timeline. There's a blank research, there's a poem one, mini book. Um, and these are your blank templates, so if you want to pose a different question or your child wants to notebook about something else, they can use these blank ones at the back to pose their own questions. Okay, so here's all the notebooks and the lesson plans in the flesh. Um, 
this is your teacher guide front cover and a student one you can use alternate whichever one you'd prefer um, I've got this as my teacher guide one and then this is on the front of my daughter's um, you also could bind them individually which is I think is what I'm going to actually end up doing binding the little notebooks individually because they all have their own little front cover on or you can just bind it as a whole book it's entirely up to you Okay, so I'll just show you randomly. Um, we'll pick two. So this is the World War One. So that's closest. We'll do that one. So we've got our book list with page numbers where it's relevant. We have got a YouTube list or hyperlinked for you. Another YouTube list. And again, you can just pick. You can read the titles and pick which ones you think you want. You'd like your student to watch. They're all very relevant though, but obviously you can decide yourself. Um, websites. More websites, um, activities, and then these are the notebook activities, and then the blank templates, um, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so here's my World War One journal. So we've got the front cover. Okay, so what was World War One? The war begins. A worldwide war. My day as a soldier. A little letter writing activity, new technology, there's our cursive, um, copy work, and then another one, planes, airships and submarines, women at war, my war horse story, after the war, nurses at war, a research file, wartime poster, and you can make your own wartime poster. Okay, so I'll show you the World War II one. So we've got our books with the page numbers on for the relevant pages. We have got YouTube videos, websites, uh, our activities, and then our notebook pages, and then it mentions about the blank templates for you, which I'll show you in a second. And then our journal, we've got our front cover. What was World War II? The war begins. A worldwide war. The Holocaust on the home front. The, my World War II ration book. So get to make their own. The war ends. My shelter design. My letter from wartime London. Science in war. And then we've got our copy work for Enigma. So in cursive. And then another one, another option. So they can trace it, obviously they can write it on a separate piece of paper, which I've included inside some lined paper, or they can trace. My coded message. Technology in war, soldiers parachuting into battle art, photograph even, and then my parachute design. And then a dig, my dig for victory garden plan. And then the activities for the World War II. So we've, apart from the notebook, so we've got this one from the Birmingham Museum. So you click on World War II, and then there's about World War II. A little timeline here that you can scroll through. And then there's a bomb damage report, a little game that you can do. And then there is printable activities, so wartime recipes and the wartime, uh, the World War II timeline that you can print. Okay, the next one was wartime eggless Christmas pudding, and you can go to the Eggless National Trust Historical Mix and Bakes, where it's got all the recipes. And the same with the syrup one. And then we've got colour a wartime poster. Again, that'll take you to the right page. You just scroll down and there's your wartime poster here that you can download. Again, download the World Wars magazine. So you will go to scroll down and it says read the kids rule magazine. So you can read it, actually you can download it and read the magazine. I just downloaded it, that's what it looks like. So you've got the World Wars magazine. So you can read it online, or you, there is a download option as well, so you can download it as a PDF. 
can print it if you want to. Download the Evacuee Suitcase Activity Pack. So this is a free printable that you can use. And there it is. Um, the Evacuation Suitcase Activity Pack. So you can just download it. Um, it is free. I think you do have to register an account though. But once you've done that, it's free to download it. And then this is a wartime recipe booklet. Again, it's free to download once you set up an account. And then you've got all your notebook activities and your templates here for the World War II. That's Quinn snoring. <laughs> The blank template, so we've got a roll of story, so you can brainstorm with your with your child and they can come up with ideas for character setting, second character and problem. You can, if you put this in, if you can laminate it, or you can put it in a sleeve and then reuse it for different um, different topics throughout the units. I didn't want to do one for every single one in case you didn't want to do that, but it's here as a blank template, so if, if they've suddenly got loads of stories to tell you about the Victorians, then they can do some brainstorming and have fun with that. Then there's an animal fact file. Um, I that they can do. They can pick any animal, obviously, from that time period that they'd like to. Again, I didn't put it in just in case you don't want to do it, or you don't want to do it for every unit. Um, but it's at the back, so you can just print it off out whenever the need or desire arises. There's a blank letter writing template. Um, this is your news, one of your newspaper article templates. There's your second newspaper article template. There's your my recipe template, so they can use that when they're making one of the recipes or making up their own recipe. We've got a facts and figures um, template, so you can use those after each unit if you'd like, but I put it at the back so you've got the choice. Here's your timeline, print off as many of the um, printable pages as you need for your timeline. A blank research one, a, an acrostic poem template, and then a blank little mini book template, so again they can make little mini books throughout the units as many times as they'd like and then some blank notebooking pages in case you don't like the questions I've posed or your child has suddenly got really interested in a different point that they'd like to notebook. I think that's really important with notebooking they have the flexibility. So we've got this one, this one, this one, oh, this is comic book one, a couple of different options in a blank format. A flip through of Journey Through Time. It's available now on Teachers Pay Teachers. If you've got any questions, let me know below. Otherwise, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.